the availability from Kyle Dubas, Chris Johnson, it was to address the status of John Tavares and his health. He also touched on a handful of other topics. So I ask you, what was maybe the most intriguing or interesting thing that Dubas said to the media? I would say just the sense of relief you got, Sean, from Kyle Dubas, from everyone in the Leafs organization. You know, obviously it was a very troubling, worrying moment when John Tavares was down, when he was getting stretchered off, those frantic moments after that hit Thursday night. But Kyle Dubas was able to share that, that he didn't have any structural damage to his head, to his neck, or to his spine, uh, which is a huge sigh of relief for them. You know, you're even to start imagining, you know, can he come back, will he come back, that the fact that Kyle Dubas could take questions like that. And I think also just a, a appreciation and gratitude for uh, the number of people that have reached out and, and Leafs fans and, and rival executives, even the Canadians in the middle of this series. And so you got a feeling that this could have been much worse uh, and everyone, including Kyle Dubas, is feeling better that didn't turn out as badly as it might have. And Dubas also updated the fact that Tavares suffered a knee injury as well, which will keep him out at least two weeks. But obviously the concussion and the symptoms there are the unknown as far as his timeline to return. It seems crazy to talk about a timeline of return for John Tavares, considering just how horrific that injury was. But now that we know the facts, now that we're looking at it, is it a reality that he could come back if the Maple Leafs go deep into the playoffs? Well, that's certainly what they're saying. And, and let's be clear right off the top. They have to eliminate the Montreal Canadiens and play at minimum into the second round before you even get into a window where I think this is a discussion where maybe John Tavares will start skating and those types of things. But, you know, that's something the Leafs have talked about. Justin Hall mentioned on Saturday morning that it's their singular focus is playing long enough to give Tavares a chance to come back and, and you know, make a meaningful contribution to this playoff run. And so, you know, there's a lot of unknowns here. And, and I think it's important to mention, too, that Kyle Dubas said that they're going to take every precaution, almost an extra precaution, I think, with the concussion uh, related issue in particular but the nature of those injuries I mean some people are, are out long long periods of times so others don't experience symptoms and can return sooner and so you know they'll, they'll be they'll be careful here but I do think certainly if they play into the second round or maybe even the third round uh, you know we're going to start being on that watch every day. Now come playoff time and looking to tonight's game everybody wants to put labels on games a must win a pivotal game but just how big is this game for both these two teams the Leafs to avoid going down and the Habs to try to take a stranglehold? Well, it's, it's huge, you know, and, and, you know, it's funny. People get carried away, I think, at times. It's not must win until, you know, you, the, the other team is one win away from advancing technically. And I do think there's a different dynamic here. Home games aren't home games. Yes, there's last change and the comforts of home, but the, the, you're not dealing with the fan emotion. Uh, but that being said, look, the, the Leafs know how big this is. Uh, they didn't perform up to an ability, I think, that they were happy with in game one. They want to get a win for Tavares. They want to even the series. Um, but you know, just because if they were to lose tonight doesn't mean this thing's over either. So let's not get too carried mm -hmm. away. But but yes, it's it's a, a big one for them to get back in the series. And for Montreal, man, you, you get greedy if you get you win the first game on the road. You want to win the second one too. Well, not a must win for the Maple Leafs.